Now, President Bola Tinubu has pledged Nigeria's commitment to end gas flaring as part of its contribution to the global push to reduce methane emissions. Tinubu told world leaders at the COP28 summit on methane and other non-CO2 greenhouse gases in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Tinubu spoke alongside the COP28 president, Dr. Ahmed Al-Jabbar, the United States Special Envoy on Climate, John Kerry, and the Chinese Envoy on Climate, Xi Jinhua, saying Nigeria has incentives and punitive measures to encourage compliance and punish the faulters, commending the Emirati government for its drive to reduce GHGs, the president welcomed new developments made by the entities, harping on the need for participants to implement their net zero commitments. We are committed to critical steps to reduce methane emission by ensuring flood gas, uh, flood gas are eliminated. There's a huge penalty for that. There's equally a huge incentive for to do so. The measures that we're taking here is a welcome development, no doubt about that. And we are with the leadership of UAE for the commitment so, so far. We are consolidating on the gas export usage domestically and export for other countries. I can assure you that we will be partner in progress to achieve renewable. We are committed to energy mix President Bola Latinbu expressing Nigeria's commitment there at the COP28 to the zero emission of gases. In the same vein, Nigeria is introducing a fleet of 100 electric buses as part of its ambitious plan to reduce its carbon footprint and modernize its transportation systems. President Bola Latinbu announced the initiative at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai. The move aims to position Nigeria as a pioneer in green manufacturing and industrialization focusing on natural gas as a transition fuel alongside other renewable energy sources. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.